Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Got a video I want to present to you. And I'm sure with what I'm going to say, many will disagree. That's okay, that's not what it's for. It's my personal opinion about what would be the best kit for someone starting out. I mean, if you just tell someone, hey, you should build a model kit, go to Hobby Lobby and get one. What they may end up with, although it's newly made, may not be something that they want to complete or be satisfied with the results. And that's kind of, you know, that's the whole thing about this hobby is it's, it's, we do it because we want to have fun. And it can be with, with some of these kits, even if they're just been produced, that doesn't mean that the quality is something that they would that would even be applicable to a beginner so i've got a stack here that i pulled off my shelves they're right here to the side you saw them in the thumbnail and i want to just kind of talk about something maybe to look for and things to avoid um i've got many many more that i could pull down and do that with but i thought this would be kind of a good subject matter and and give you an idea of what I would say is probably one of the better kits to start with if you want to get into this hobby and you want to get have a good start. So to start with is I've got this here. This was uh, gifted to me and at this point it flees me and I've got to start putting a little sticky notes like BG does in the kit so I can remember who who gifted it and I apologize for that but this is the Atlantis edition of the 57 Cadillac Eldorado Brome or Broham as I like to say this kit was re um, popped by Atlantis not that long ago so you could have found it this says uh, 20 oh wow I think they might have messed up on the date there it's not 2202 that's pretty cool Hey, maybe I'm in the future. I, don't, I didn't even know it. But anyway, maybe this kit came from the future. But anyway, it was a 2022 is what that should have been, not 2202. That's pretty funny. But so this kit could fool you. You could say, oh, wow, well, that's, that's brand new. And you would be so wrong because this kit actually was produced in 1957. Um... The molds that this kit are made from are from 1957 as far as I know. I've built the second or a repop edition of this kit before. And don't take don't get me wrong. This kit can build up to a beautiful model kit. As a matter of fact, I have a specimen right here of that. So I built this is that exact kit, but this was Ravel. Same exact kit. Built up really beautiful. It's a nice car. It's a curbside. There's no engine, so you would think it'd be a quick build, but no, it's not. It's a, a lot of tedious work. And because, again, don't be, don't be misled because this is a 2202 model kit, haha, 2022, doesn't mean that it was created then. This is a multi-piece body. This kit is a nightmare to build, but you can do it. But for a beginner, I would not recommend this at all. Not at all. Not with the quality things that you can get your hands on via the internet or a good hobby shop or even a uh, hobby lobby and places like that or hobby nut models. You can get yourself a good kit over there and we'll talk about that later. No, I would not advise getting this Atlantis 57 Cadillac or the Ravel 57 Cadillac, which is the exact same model kit, just in a different box. It is not a beginner kit. This is this an advanced modeler can can build this kit and it can look beautiful with a lot of foil work and chrome work, but I think you'd be greatly disappointed to do it as a beginner. So I would say no on that. Well, Matthew, I like NASCAR kits. I'd like to I'd like to build a NASCAR kit. Well, those things are so readily available on the internet. They are everywhere. They must have made a billion of these, especially the Davy Allison 28. So I decided to grab one of these. Is it a terrible kit? I don't think so. I've not ever built one, but I've seen tons of people build them. Great kits. What's well? What's the deal, Matthew? Why wouldn't you advise a beginner to do this? Well, there's a lot of pieces. There's a lot of detail painting and things like that if you wanted to do it. And not to mention, you see this, this color, all these decals. 
they could really frustrate a new builder. It could make them be very frustrated and never grab another kit if they ruined the decals, especially if you bought it off eBay, like this kit, the decals may be old, they may, may be yellowed, very fragile, and, and uh, it could make your model look uh, not up to par, that you would think it could frustrate you, to say the least. Um, is it a great kit? Absolutely. I've heard so much about these monogram NASCAR kits. Would I advise a beginner getting one of these? Not really. And I know in the comments people are going to say my very first kit was a NASCAR kit. That's not the point of this video. This this point of this video is my opinion is I wouldn't advise a, a person to build one of these as their first model kit. Just because of the tons of different parts fitting the roll cage, um, just lots and lots of things you have to do. And again, I think the first model kit should be something that's um, fairly easy. I don't, and when I say easy, I don't mean a snap kit, even though that is a route you could go. But I don't think this would be one that I would advise to take. I don't think any NASCAR kit would be what I would advise for a first time modeler. So, what would you advise? Well, they make great kits by Monogram that are old kits, but are wonderful to build. This would be one of those kits. Um, this kit is from the early 80s, I believe. Um, I've got an edition of it. It's the Strohmobile, Stroh Beer. It's the exact same kit, but this is a wonderful kit to build. This is a first, I would say, absolutely, if you're a first time modeler, this is a great kit to get. These are readily readily available and probably the, probably the most inexpensive kit you can get on the internet. Um, it's the Monogram Classic Cruiser 55 Ford. Now I say this is an easy kit to build and that is proof for a first timer because my wife built this one. This is that exact kit. Heather built this. She did a wonderful job. Got a mirror and the license plate in the back because they got knocked off. But this kit builds up so great and I would recommend, if you're a first-time modeler, this would be a great one. It, like I say, Monogram did a wonderful job on their tooling of this kit. It goes together really nice. When you open the kit up, I just took the plastic off this one so it's not been touched at all. So it's ne never been opened until now. But when you open the kit up, it's just, when you start to examine the parts and pieces, they are so crisp and clean. I don't know if Monogram retooled or what they did, but if nothing else, the original tooling was done such at a high standard that it has it has remained high quality. And I would I would say this would be a kit that I would recommend to a first time model builder. You would have a great time with it. It builds up to a great looking truck. Um, the skill level is what does it say? Level four. I don't believe that. And not at all because like i say this this one the pieces fit good the parts fit good it's just a really nice build recommended for sure by me um, for a first time model builder so check this one out if you are interested in building a model for the first time and i highly recommend that you do um let's get back to the hobby lobby thing so hobby lobby has had uh round two to provide, I think they bought most of their kits from Round 2, uh, which owns MPC, uh, Polar Lights, I think they must own Atlantis, I don't know, no they don't own Atlantis, but they own a lot of manufacturers, MPC being one of them. This kit was sold from um, uh, Hobby Lobby within the last couple of years. They were um, readily available at Hobby Lobby, but again, just because it was sold, reboxed, sold, and produced recently doesn't mean that it is a great kit to build for a first timer. This kit, um, my son started one of these. This is a new one. I just took the plastic off of it also. But he started one and it was a bit frustrating for a, 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 a young boy. He would, he would build while I was at work. So I wasn't able to like be right there with him and show him a lot of stuff. So he would, he would try to bill i'm at work and he's grown now but anyway when, when when i was uh when he was still living at home he would he tried one of these and i thought well that's a cool one i didn't understand either at the time but i would say this is a definite no for a beginner because what you have here on this old mpc kit this is an old old kit this one's been produced for a really long time 
is you have a four-wheel drive system you've got leaf springs up front you've got axles you've got to get a lot of parts aligned properly or else your truck might sit off center or the tires are off the ground or something like that now it's a neat looking kit and i don't i don't say don't buy it because it is a cool little little uh four-wheel drive kit but for a beginner i would say i couldn't recommend this one um, because of what i saw the the struggles that he was having with uh with some of the parts fitting right and things like that so this is mpc mpc is a controversial subject matter for some modelers some people completely hate the name mpc but they've made a lot of great model kits and i'm not saying this one isn't one of those i just don't recommend it for a beginner it's an old mold kit comes from a long time ago um it's got a lot of little finicky parts that may give you trouble and again um, i think the goal of us to try to promote people to get into the hobby let's direct them to something that's desirable to build and and quite easy well matthew uh challenges is what builds skills yeah let's let's get them through the first build or two let's give them something that's nice and then ease them into something that's a little bit more difficult i, th I don't think this would be one that i would recommend for a first time builder if you've got three or four builds under your belt good jump on it might be a good one for you, but not for a first timer, in my opinion. Then we have Tamiya. And everybody's going to say, yeah, Tamiya. Okay, so here's a Morris Mini Cooper. This is a Tamiya kit. I've had it for quite some years. Never started it. Um, you can't beat the quality of Tamiya kits. But sometimes Tamiya kits can be a little complicated. Uh, small parts, lots of parts. I'm not saying that this wouldn't be one. I've never tried to build this kit. But what I wanted to, to, to show you is, number one, the quality is a top-notch number one. The downfall sometimes with the Tamiya kits, a lot of small parts, a lot of very detailed parts. Um, difficult for um, new hands and uh, not having the right types of glue and things like that to try to get all those parts to fit properly can be frustrating at times. This one's got uh, quite a few little small parts. Um, not that I'm saying that I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, recommend this kit, but again, it's just sometimes too many small parts can build frustration. They'll take this kit, they'll put it back in the box, and they'll say, I, I really don't want to do this. This doesn't seem very fun. My purpose of the video pointing people to something that's simple but yet quality when they get done with it this could be that kit i'm not sure about that and i've got another example here two more examples of tamiya that i want to talk about just touch on just for a second uh, but this kit uh maybe maybe it would be a good one for you first timer because again the tamiya quality is so spot on you can't go wrong with getting one However, sometimes they can have a lot of small parts that I don't. Again, I don't want to. I don't want to uh, recommend somebody something that's going to say, "I'm really frustrated. This kid is, this kid is a, uh, it's too much," and they put it back in the box and they quit. Here's another example of, of a uh, Tamiya. This is the Skyline GTR. I, I had seen this kit for so long and always wanted one. My friend Douglas uh, Zinzer sent this to me, and I can't say thank you enough to him. And I want to build this kit. But this is, this is something that, uh, again, I'm on the fence with. Would I recommend it to a new builder? I'm not sure. Kind of like the Morris um, Mini Cooper. I don't know because when you this, this is a full engine detail kit. Um, it's got, uh, it's got uh, you know, it's quite a few little small parts. But the quality is there. Beautiful car. The body, not much work you'd have to do to it. Um... Are they too advanced for a new modeler? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it would be something that a, that a kid or even an adult that's never built a model kit, but they want to try this. Maybe it is something that they would want to get. However, you may pay upwards of $50 for a, a nice Tamiya kit. There again, let's keep them in a price range where it's not overboard. It's not going to scare them away thinking, man, every time I want to build a kit, it's 50 bucks. Although the... the uh, Big three or four kits are, are nearing that, especially when you go to Hobby Lobby. If you don't catch them on the 40%, they're, they're super expensive. Um, but this is this is one that, like I say, I'm on the fence with. 
I don't know, but maybe. It's, it's, a, it's a maybe kit. But again, price on Tamiya kits aren't the cheapest, and they have a lot of small little parts, although the parts fit great. I don't know. I don't know if it'd be a, a uh, kit that I would highly recommend or not. But then you've got this by Monogram. This was an Ollie special here this year. Um, I just went to my local Ollie's. They still had these things on the shelf. And it would probably be one that I would say, yeah, I would recommend this for a first time builder. I've never even built this kit, but I've looked at the parts. It's not a terribly old mold. I mean, it's from the nineties, obviously, because it's a Lamborghini Diablo. It's a, it's a monogram kit though. And sometimes you can be misled with monogram. Monogram, I think builds some of the greatest kits. I think they do as far as fitting, they were able to make things simple, but yet look great and detailed. Um, and, and again, this kit couldn't go back any farther than what, 90, 91 or something like that because of the, the subject matter it is, the Lamborghini Diablo. But um, when you look at the parts on this kit, they are, like I say, they're very, they're very crisp. You can tell the molds are in great shape. This kit would probably go together really nice. However, although it's a monogram kit, it's got a lot of small parts still. So you, it's kind of, I'm on the fence with this one a bit, because, but I think the quality would be there. The price would surely be there. It was $12.99 at Ollie's. So it would be something I would say, give it a go because you know, you're, you can't go wrong with the price. Um, and I think with the quality of this kit, I don't think you could go wrong either. I think you'd have a nice little, little model after it's all said and done. It doesn't have a lot. It doesn't have any chrome work. Uh, you could take a Sharpie and do the black outlines for the windows. Um, some of these, some of the old classic cars have a lot of chrome. You don't have to paint that stuff, but if you want to try and make it look good, you know, I would recommend something like this because no chrome, uh, the, the, uh, skyline also no chrome, um, straightforward paint jobs no decals to speak of other than a few emblems and things like that so yeah for price for quality i would say this is one that i would recommend for somebody to build for a first time uh, they had other kits at ollie's and i've got those too um and i could even recommend those they were all under the monogram label they were monogram kits now there was a 57 chevy uh, Nomad that Ollie's was also selling. That's probably because it, it's an older kit. I probably wouldn't highly recommend it as a first time kit, but they had the Dodge SRT pickup truck. They had a Corvette. They had a, must, a newer model Mustang. They had this, the 32 Ford um, Street Rod. They had that. Those are great kits. So anyway, yeah, I think this would be one that I would say absolutely if you want a first time kit. It's got a lot of parts, but it's going to build up nice. Now, here's something that People that build model kits, experienced builders, love these, and I could understand why. Number one, the quality. This is a Fujimi. Now, they're not cheap at all. Um, you'll pay upwards of $50, even more maybe for these kits. $40 to $50, $60. Just depends. If this kit here is not a cheap one at all, you may pay $75 for this kit. The quality, 100% beautiful perfection. The parts count and the fiddliness of all the small parts could be a it could be in question for a first time model. I wouldn't recommend this for a first time modeler, although it goes together like an absolute dream. It would take a lot of time uh, and a lot of patience. Now I have a kit just like this, but the older release and it's open, so I'll take the lid the lid off and I'll show you just what I'm talking about. My friend George Oppenheim sent me this kit. It's the same one. This is just an older edition. Same exact kit as the, the red one. But I'll show you what I mean as far as parts count. And um, you can get really lost in the weeds with these kits. <laughs> if, if you know what I mean. I mean, they're very highly detailed. So high, high detail uh, includes many, many pieces. And this one really would be um, a frustrating build for a new a, a beginner, I think. Um, don't get me wrong, beautiful kit, but tons of parts. I want you to look at these trees here, and and this is this is my whole point. Uh, is it a perfect kit? Probably so. Is it perfect for a beginner? No way. This thing is loaded with small parts, and when I say loaded, I mean you get you get your money's worth. Of plastic with this kit but 
so many i think the new modeler would be so frustrated they would quit with this kit i don't think it would be something they would want to finish it's got opening doors it's got more detail than you can shake a stick at and with that comes comes a frustration and confusion and some other things like that so i don't think you'd want to go buy your buy your child a fujimi kit for their first model kit by any means um three four five ten builds under their under their belt grab them one it's a they're beautiful they're wonderful as a matter of fact i've got another it's not it's not the lamborghini but it is a uh, it's a fujimi kit and i built this one and when i say lots of little parts this thing has so many engine detail parts it was frustrating to me um this is the porsche this was the testers boxed fujimi kit um, from 1986 i believe it was that doesn't matter age sometimes does not matter i don't i want to emphasize that um just because a kit was made a long time ago doesn't mean the quality is not there 1986 at this point was a long time ago this little kit had so much detail in the engine compartment i could hardly get it all to fit um it frustrated even me and i've got quite a few builds under my belt turned out to be a beautiful model but it was even frustrating for myself so i would steer clear of a fujimi model kit for a first time builder just because they're complicated now i'm going to get to the ultimate and yes i would recommend to a beginner now this is just one specimen of many and i just uh i just received this kit recently and i did a haul video or a uh, unboxing and i'm not going to unbox it here but this is a porsche turbo rsr type 934 and as a matter of fact at the time you see this video you may have already seen the unboxing so I don't I, I guess I can't unbox it so why are you Matthew you're saying this is yeah it's to me a, yeah it's it's a bit on the pricey side but what you get with this kit is simplicity perfect fitting stuff and uh, low parts count so when you this is a this doesn't have an engine okay this is a what they call a curbside kit the hood the rear hood deck doesn't open like that Porsche I just showed you it is a simple kit it has a small amount of parts it is wonderfully made by tamiya the body is beautiful it has such small parts count number you could paint the car and uh you could do this build if you were doing a simple build you could build this in two or three days and i'm not saying full days i'm saying coming in the evenings and work on it spray some paint it does have some decals but they're simple decals um, yeah, this would be one of the ones that I would say highly recommended for a first time model builder. Yeah, the price is a little high on these. You're still looking at somewhere near $50. But if you wanted to spend that much money, um, I would, I would almost say you're going to be satisfied and you would be coming back for more. Uh, to me, a quality, to me, a price a little high, but this thing is so nice and will build up very quick. And I, I would highly recommend this. So my top two out of this whole thing that i would say recommended for a first time model builder are these two right here this one and this one these are the two that i would recommend for a first time model builder that, that i would say you would be you would have fun you could save a lot of money this kit literally you can get it for 20 bucks this kit's going to cost you 50 dollars. it's going to build up really nice you're going to have a cool little race car this truck, cheap, builds up nice, comes from an older line of molds, but it's still just as nice as the day they created it. So these are the two that I would say, if I had to take my stash and I would have to pull two model kits down and say which ones, or, or a model kit, I can't really decide over the two, price being one of the uh, leading factors, you know, it's expensive, but super nice and simple uh very inexpensive but yet still builds good so these are my two these these are the ones that out of my 700 plus model kits i would say these probably are the two and i've never even built this kit but i can guarantee i've already gone through the parts i've looked at them this would be a beautiful little model kit for a beginner as well as that one i know that i'm going to get a lot of disagreements and people are going to say no it's this kit that should be this is this is what i looked up in my stash and this is what i saw and again this is what i think would be the best for a new modeler so guys take it for what it is um it's my opinion it's not fact 
Um, but from my experiences, this little guy builds up great. I've built the van version. They have the, the one that's the van version. It built up so beautiful. It's such a nice little kit. Builds up quick. This one costs a little more. Build, it's going to build up nice. It's going to be built up nice. Even if you don't want to paint it. I mean, it's already an orange. You can just stick the stickers on there or uh, the, the water slide decals and be done with it. But yeah, these two, my picks. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And I hope this helps um, someone that maybe is getting into the hobby. Go grab yourself one of these. Uh, hobby Nut Models is where I would send you to to grab yourself a kit. Um, if you go over there and you see something you like, hey, shoot me. And you're not sure? Shoot me an email. Email Mark at Hobby Nut Models. Mark would, would guide you to the best kit for a beginner. He would not mislead you. He would not try to upsell you. He wouldn't do any of those things. He would want you to come back because you want to build a second model kit. So go over there to Hobby Nut Models. Check out Mark's inventory. Grab yourself some glue while you're there because you got to have glue for the first time. All those questions can be answered on the Facebook group. Go to the Facebook group, Model Car Videos Facebook group. If you haven't joined, go join. It, what's what's my what's the best glue i'm just starting that you'll have tons of of great answers and most of the time those answers are going to agree um, what's the best paint i would say how are you going to paint first first time modelers are usually spray painting so to me a spray paint seems like a great paint on and on and on but as far as model kits goes these are my two picks, guys. All right, so have a great day, uh, night, morning, whenever you're watching this. Don't forget to go check out the Spring Store as well. Grab yourself a T-shirt or a coffee mug with model car videos on it. And uh, to my Patreon members, guys, thank you so much for watching uh, or for your support. And for you that are watching this video, give it a big thumbs up, thumbs up if you don't mind. And uh, we will see you all on the next video. Take care. Bye.